As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. All right, hopefully you can hear me. I've never done a video where I'm actually talking to y'all up there. And here's all you need. This is this right here, this flat rate bubble envelope here, this padded flat rate is gonna cost $7.33 to ship. And this right here is gonna cost $6.75 to ship. So if I'm doing my math right, that's a 58 cent difference. A lot of times, if it's a big pair of jeans, I'm gonna put it in here. This is borderline, these are 34, and so that's a fairly big pair of jeans, but it's not so big that I can't get it in this one right here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and we're gonna get rid of this thing, we're gonna save 58 cents. So I'm sure if you're a jeans person, you know how to do this already. You've probably been doing it for years, and maybe you've got different techniques, but this is how I do it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pair of jeans and I'm gonna put it in this poly bag and I'm gonna compress it and kind of push the air out of it. So take a look. Incidentally, there's cost to these. So when I say 58 cents, it's really more like 50 because these are gonna cost you about eight cents. If you buy them in massive bulk, they will anyways. They're more than that if you don't. Now, you'll want to fold it just slightly over half so we get a good little compact package. And then you're going to push it together like this, okay? It's going to expand in a minute because I got to do another step, but that's going to suction a lot of the air out and enable you to get it in that thing. And then it'll expand to the shape. All right, so next step here is you're going to need to create a new crease. So you have this crease right here already. You can probably see this crease that's already kind of pre built into it. You can definitely see it on this side. They've got that crease. You want to go about. I don't know, I would say maybe a quarter inch below that crease and make a new crease. So there's the normal crease right there. See the normal crease? Now I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna take that crease and I'm gonna fold it over a little bit further. And so, I don't know if you can see, there's the old, there's the old crease and then there's the new crease. So the new crease is gonna line up with that red strip. That'll give you an idea. The old crease is right here. And the new crease is right along that red strip. And that's going to make this thing turn into a slight more of a, a little bit more of a box than anything else. Get that, open it up as wide as you can. You're going to take this thing, you're going to push it together like this. I put the thick side in first. So where the fold is in the jeans is what I put in first. Just like that. I'm going to push it down again. I'm going to pull this off. And now we've got our crease that goes a little farther down and makes it really, really easy. And there you have it. Now, I like to put a little bit of tape on it too, just in case. You don't really need to, but I like to put a little piece on each end. just to keep it from, from splitting. Now there's some debate, like you can't alter packages and all that for flat rate. I've never, I have shipped these things, literally thousands of jeans in these things over 20 years. And I have never, ever, ever had a problem. So there you go, $6.75.